Hey, hey, my creative friends. We are here, Shannon from Shannon Studio, and we're gonna talk about creativity. Um, this is video number 98. I had to look. Video number 98, I'm really excited about doing these. Um, today, I went to a silk mill and learned a little bit about it. It was a museum. It was, um, it's really small, but man, some of the machinery there was just antiques. They were antiques. And there was one gal there that we talked to and she talked about the process and things like that, which made me start to think about process and, and a lot of things. When I go out to do these things, um, I, my mind just starts going with questions and ideas and that sort of thing. And, and that's what I was doing this, this evening. Um, one of the things that it reminded me of was in, in the idea of process was that I remember that I had a super difficult time calling myself an artist. And I know there's, I've heard a few other people say that too. It was like, I could never say, oh, I'm an artist. It took the longest time. And, and we made a joke because I bought this, um, this big black bag that you can um, put your art, large artwork in, paper artwork in. And so we'd make a joke, Alan would always make a joke like, well, you're a real artist now because you've got the artist bag. <laughs> or we'd make a joke, you're, I'm a real artist now because I have an easel. Or, you know, it was all these little props that would, um, would give me a little more confidence to call myself a creative or call myself an artist. Hi, Wade. Um, <laughs> Wait, says hi, Queen. Um, yeah, my middle name is Francine Kuuiini, and so I had a hard time pronouncing Kuuiini when I was little, and so I I'd say my name is Queenie, and so it's kind of been a thing. Um, and like my Queen Bee logo, and just it's you know this fun little thing of the history of my name. So, anyways, and he's calling me Queen. Um, anyways, so I had a terrible time with having confidence to call myself an artist. And um, even the trappings of having the artist bag or the palette or the cool things, I still didn't feel like I could, with authority, call myself an artist. And it, and it went back to the questions of when is this creative process going to make sense? When is it, When am I going to make be able to make sense of these paintings? And where Wade says, oh, and I have your huge art easel that you gave me. Yes, I gave, I, yeah, I've got to feed feed the creativity in my kids. And Wade's got some great talent and ability, natural ability that he's been then now um, nurturing, making, doing things with it. So he's creating art and yeah, he needed an easel. So, okay, back to the things. Um, so the questions will always come to me. You know, why, when is this gonna make sense of making this art? When am I gonna feel confident in my brush strokes? When am I gonna, you know, figure out how this all works and what the process is and, and to not struggle so much? And, and, you know, when am I going to feel like an artist when I don't ever feel like I know what I'm doing? And it's really hard to call yourself some authoritative thing like I'm an artist when you don't feel like you know what you're doing. And so, what I've learned, <laughs> Wade says, crying over here, love you. I love you too, Wade. Um, so what it is, is that when, in, you know, thinking about the process, um, the creative process is very messy and it's complicated. Um, the, the guy with the name with the, <laughs> the creative guy that did like 30 years of study that I do not know how to say his name because his last name has like 20 letters. His first name is Mihala, M Mihala, M-I-H-A-L-Y. He says one word that makes creatives different than others, complexity. And it is, it is a complex um, situation you're going into when you're an artist. And to me, that's one of the reasons that we have a hard time calling ourselves creatives. Because as um, it's, and in the, uh, what book? Wired to Create, it says, as psychologists continue to put artists under the microscope to examine the cre um, creative process in action, they continued to find 
it to be far from clear cut, far from a clear cut step by step process. So right there, it's not a linear. This is, you know, we do A, B and C and we get, you know, the, the same thing every time we it is it is messy it's hard and it and especially because we don't necessarily do the same exact thing every single time so then there's even complexity and a change in process from piece to piece um so i wanted to share some ideas some how some others looked at creativity and their process so um the quote from your, your creative brain, Shelley Carson. She says, since the time of Archimedes, many other creative luminaries have described the elements of their creative process in essays, letters, diaries, and journals. Thus, we have a pretty good repertoire of anecdotal reports of the creative process. And she goes on to say, Picasso said of his own creative process, a painting is not thought out and settled in advance. While it is being done, it changes as one's thoughts change. So, and I, I mean, we go in with, an, like, you might have thumbnails, you might have sketches, but I think he's saying the actual brush strokes are not that. You can't think out certain things in the creative process because they are in the moment. They are that spark and that thing that happens. It doesn't happen until you actually put the the paint to the canvas or the pen to the paper or whatever your creative endeavor is. So it's it's thought out in as much as you you know kind of the idea and the general parameters, but you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. You don't know how exactly that paint's going to mix. When you pick something up, you don't know what happy accidents are going to happen. You just don't know. And so then also she says about Picasso, again, exploration, um, exploration and seemingly blind experimentation were key to Picasso's pre creative process. I mean, seemingly blind experimentation. Does that sound like an artist where somebody's calling themselves an artist? <laughs> that doesn't go with what we naturally think. Somebody who has authority, expert, who has experience, who's been doing it for a while, you don't really think blind experimentation. I mean, unless you're like a scientist and that's your, your game. But, so I think that's part of the process. I mean, part of the reason why we have difficulty saying we're an artist, um, because that process in our brains is so con it's so messy. And then it's, it's contradictory as well. Here's another quote from um, Wired to Create is, show, uh, re further research showed creative people to engage in rapid switching of thoughtful thought processes and to exhibit nearly spontaneously um, coexistence between a number of processes. So your brain is like jumping around. It is going through, when you are making things, it's going through processes back and forth, back and forth. And Mihala says that artists are co divergent and what is he? Di divergent and covert? What? I'm going to get the word right here. The two words he used. Because I don't want to lead you astray. And I don't want to misquote him. Convergent and divergent. That's the kind of thinkers. Hey, Rebecca, you are an artist. Um, and Rebecca is doing her Christmas store. Um, her Christmas tree lot store. I might not be saying it, but it's she's what she's doing is redoing this barn of hers. And so I've been watching the process and all the things that go into that. Um, Wade says, I've never done anything spontaneous. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Um, love that point. Yes, Wade is a king of spontaneity. So yes, he, he is spontaneous and he's fun. So, okay, back to our thing. We're using different, we're using covert and divergent thinking and so we're our brains are jumping around all the time and they're not they're uncertain it's not settled uh, it's almost like the creative process is like this shifting um, plate where we are always kind of moving around and so it's hard to say oh I'm an artist when that uncertainty is always going to be there Rebecca says Christmas trees and gift shop thank you Rebecca for clarifying that yes and um She's painted this shop, 
redid the thing. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm excited to see it. Well, see it from over in Sweden. Um, I'll be home one day, though. Uh, so when you have that where he says there's playfulness in artists, there's playfulness and discipline, there's imagination and reality, and these things are playing against each other. There's um, mind wandering and an extreme focus. There's... Um, rebelliousness, conservativeness, you know, we're humble and proud, basically the yin and yang, goes through the whole process, the whole being of an artist. Total uncertainty with that back and forth. Um, you might feel a little schizophrenic, I don't know, but um, uh, Big Magic uh, Elizabeth Gilbert says, I believe the creative process is both magic and magical. So it's kind of that element of uncertainty, but there's just kind of magic in it too. And it's kind of exciting. And it, it makes the process really energizing. Because when you put those things, push them against each other, that creates energy. So let's see. Um, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, in the big magic, she says that so many people um, treat their creative process as a war zone. And I think that's one of the reasons too, because it's that conflict of um, divergent and convergent. It's just that constant push against each other. But if you recognize it, if you recognize there's going to be that uncertainty, if you recognize it's going to be messy, me <laughs> messy and complex, that's a new word, messy. Messy and complex, it, it's full of contradictions. And there's an element of, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Then you start to, if you can start to embrace that, then you can really understand that is what an artist is. That you are an artist. That is the process. And to embrace it. Say you're an artist. Rebecca, I think, didn't you say that, Rebecca? Rebecca said, I'm an artist. Yeah. Um, so don't be afraid to say you're an artist. Understand that there's going to be uncertainty. Understand all those processes and embrace it anyways. So that's the tip. Say embrace the uncertainty, understand and embrace the uncertainty, and you can call yourself an artist. Um, let's see. I think that's it for tonight. Thanks for help showing up. Um, tell me if you have ever felt that uncertainty to call yourself an artist. Um, to, to, you know, be bold and say that. I, I'm curious if other people have felt that um, or if it was a process for them or they didn't have, you didn't have any problem at all. So in the meantime, remember you have a creative heartbeat, so listen for it, listen to it. And um, I will be here tomorrow.